Hey guys, is DJIK really worth it? Stick around and I'll tell you. Lost my drone flying it this morning. For some reason it was just flying home really slow and I had to land, emergency land on a road. And I was about to turn around. I went for a drive in with my, still in my PJs. Bloody, I'm about to turn around and go home. Drive up to do a Yui. And look, I find it. I find it. Oh my god. It's a little bit, a little bit bent. But it looks alright. It's a miracle, man. Well, it's not too bad. I lost my. A little bit roughed up, but it looks okay. Hopefully it's alright. Oh fuck, it's bent there. Fuck. So yes, I crashed my drone. So a couple of weeks ago, we went on a family trip to King Lake in uh, Victoria, Australia. And um, I took it out for a spin the next morning. Pretty excited because there's all like forest trees and stuff. And where we were staying, we were staying like on a hill um, with a house and stuff. And uh, just below me, there was like all this forest area. So it was a little... A little bit choppy but not really bad and so I went took it for a spin it was fine but then when I went over to the forest area because it was a descent obviously the wind gets stronger and um, I kept an eye on the battery and stuff like that um, it was all good I had enough time to return to home but what I didn't know was the battery doesn't know how much time it will come to home according to the speed it can travel at. So in my case, the wind on the way home, the wind was traveling um, against the drone and mine's a Mavic, so it's only like 900 grams. And I noticed when I was trying to fly home, um, the max speed was only 10 kilometers an hour and it could not go faster than that. And even in sport mode, um, I tried to flick it in sport mode, still 10 kilometers per hour. So I started getting worried um, because it was not going to make it home. It had said like five minutes and it was still a while back and it was taking forever to get back. So then the critical battery started popping up and it just started landing like on top of all these trees. I'm like, I'm not going to get this drone back. So I had to cancel it, cancel the return to home. Quickly find, as you can probably see in the video, um, quickly find a, uh, a little bit of a dirt road and then I just let the drone land itself there but when I went to find it as you can see it dropped out of the sky <laughs> and it just got damaged but at least I got it back and if I didn't get it back my DJI care would have been worthless and I've had I would have lost my drone and I would have been very sad so I'll just quickly go over my repair process experience um, when I send it back um, as you can see here, this, these are the um, steps and the progress bar that I, you could follow and you can look, you can log in and, and check your case in that. Um, so I raised the case on 22nd, they received it on 29th, May, damage assessed. I was yeah, a little bit confused about this step here. They um, did the assessment, right, and then for some reason this step, I spoke to them and said, oh, you know, how's it, how long is it going to take? Um, you know, if you finished assessing the damage, blah blah blah, and then the step went. They took that step off and it went backwards. And like, why is it gone backwards? And they just said, "Oh, don't worry, we will assess the damage within the next day or whatever." Anyway, um, so they eventually did it, and I paid them. And after I paid them, they pretty much sent the new drone straight away. Oh, well, it's not a. We don't know if it's a new drone. They say new drone or equivalent, but. I spoke to like another store and they said, oh, it'll be a refurbished unit. So you can see the photos here as well, like you could briefly see in the video. Damaged the um, gimbal, bent the front legs. They must have landed straight, but landed hard on the fruit two front. So what's the answer? Is DJI Care uh, worth it? I think yes. Um, it's not very expensive to buy um, you do have to pay so I think it's $160 in Australia or $169 again to complete the DJI care for them to send you a refurb unit so it's kind of like an insurance and that's the excess if you want to like 
put it that way. So yeah, you pay your premium at the beginning, you get into an accident, you pay your excess, but you get a new drone. It's better than paying another two grand for another drone. But you need to get it back, that's the problem. Um, so if you land it in water, they do cover water damage, but if you do land in water, don't get it back. If a shark takes it, <laughs> um, then you're gonna have to buy a new drone. There's no eight ways about it. Also, give you a tip, if you ever do need to use it, if your propellers are sort of a bit rough, send them in as well. They'll send you new propellers. And also, um, I sort of took advantage of it. My battery just had a scratch on it, but it was still perfectly fine. But I put the battery in and they sent me a new battery too. So that was just all I did, all it had was a scratch. So um, yeah, this video was just like a quick one just to tell you my experience of um, DJI Care and how smooth it was. So that's it guys. Um, yeah, this video is just a quick one to explain DJI Care and uh, my opinion, if it's worth it or not, um, and my experience. Uh, yeah, so if, you, if this video was helpful for you, hit that subscribe button, gives a comment uh, in the uh, comment section um, if you've ever had to use it or if you have any questions, um, I'll be more than happy to answer. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thanks.